Hey everybody, it's me, Kyle, and today I'm actually in the Philippines. And the Philippines is known for many food types, and fast food is synonymous for great food here, uh, Western style of food in particular. And what better place to start than here, Greenwich. Pizza, chicken, pasta, all that good stuff. In fact, Greenwich is the most popular fast food pizza joint in the Philippines. Correct me if I'm wrong, everybody. So stay tuned for the rest of this video too, because we're gonna try uh, some of the Philippines' most famous fast food places. Now, let's start off here. I ordered the ultimate overload, the biggest pizza of them all, the regular crust, not the thin crust. You have that option too. Oh, look at that. Wow, yikes. All right, so this pizza looks like uh, there's more bread than your typical Pizza Hut or Domino's pizza. And everything else looks pretty, uh, pretty uniform. So let's uh, take a quick bite. Oh, I love the cheese. I'm not a fan of the crust. It's a little bit mushy for me. The uh, the breading is a little bit mushy, but love the cheese, love the mushrooms. Not my favorite type of pizza. I've had better, of course, but this is a great and affordable uh, box to carry home. Uh, how much was it? It's like uh, 400 uh, pesos, which is around like eight dollars, nine dollars or so, like that USD. So really, really affordable. Let's take a bite of the wings really quickly here. Another thing that um, this place is famous for. Kind of skimpy. The bread is all over the place, but let's take a bite. Oh, oh, and here in the Philippines, your fried chicken usually is accompanied by gravy, an obsessive amount of gravy. Oh, that's good. That's much better. Very home cooked style, like you grill it yourself or fried it yourself. Oh, hot. Mm. Mm. Alright, um, that's a good start to this. Why don't we check out something that I'm sure all Filipino people know. Jollibee. Let's check that out now. With over 900 locations in the Philippines and plenty abroad, including branches in Vietnam with the first one opening in 1996, this major entity has expanded into other fast food markets in the Philippines as well. So they're definitely a major player in the whole food game here. But due to their history, which dates back to the late 1970s, they're an integral part of many Filipinos' hearts. I never really understood Jollibee until I tried their Yum Burgers and had some of that pineapple juice. That cheese on that burger though, wow, that was simply incredible. Absolutely silky smooth and rich. And by the way, this video was not sponsored by any of these chains. Though I wish they did, I'm ready to sell out. But I'm also going to give you my honest opinion here, perhaps for the first time. I enjoy Jollibee a lot, so much that I went there twice, and that usually never happens. They also have hot dogs, spaghetti, fried chicken, and quality french fries here. And the best part is that everything was super cheap. I can see why McDonald's and Burger King hasn't really done well in the Philippines, because this local brand dominates easily, because their offering is just downright delicious and affordable. I mean, you can tell by how busy they are during the mealtime hours. But you just have to factor in the fact that these are fast food after all, and the cost factor. And when you do, Jollibee makes a lot of sense. Okay, now let's head back to the mall and eat some more. Here, this is the largest food court that I have ever been to in my entire life, guys. There is everything here that you can imagine. I don't see Vietnamese food though, but so many different Western food here. It is crazy. The amount of fried goods, snacks, drinks, grilled stuff. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm trying to look for another very famous Vin, uh, Vietnamese, <laughs> very famous uh, Filipino um, chain, but I don't see it. Let's see if we can get some information. Where is the information? Wow, that's so much food. In fact, this mall has another level with another food court too, so this isn't the only one. So uh, let's try to find the information area. And uh, yeah, let's go. All right, um, so we sat down, finally found this place called Mang Inasal, and it is a barbecue protein place. We got some chicken, you can get some pork, squeeze that kumquat over it. It looks so delicious. It's like in a pollo loco, but uh, more pollo and maybe more loco too. Oh, and uh, Khan's in uh, over there too. You wanna give him a, a shout out? A raise and okay, good, all right. Mmm. I can see why this is one of the most popular 
fast food places because it's so good. Mmm. Right, good rice right, too. I love the kumquat. Mmm. No, I'm glad I got a chance to try this. By now, I'm actually really, really full. So I don't think I can actually appreciate it as much as I am able to or should. But that's, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Uh, Filipino fast food is really cheap, it's affordable, uh, it's delicious, and you should try at least once when you are in the Philippines because I know you're gonna have a hard time finding uh, legit Filipino food, so you might as well find legit Filipino fast food. For more on my life in Vietnam, please read my blog at kyle.net. Oh, the camera is not even angled correctly, that's okay. Um, like my Facebook too, at facebook.com slash and uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, please. My voice just changed for whatever reason. I think I'm getting sick. Instagram, I have it, please follow it. And thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon, if possible, and buy a t-shirt too. Once again, thank you so much. Share this video with friends, and uh, I'll see you uh, next time. KyleLay.net, facebook.com slash KyleLay.net. I swear my voice just got a little bit higher for no reason. Thank you guys so much for watching until the very end. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I release brand new videos all over Asia, especially Vietnam, and the food and travel all the time. And also, be sure to follow me on Snapchat so you don't miss a single beat. Next time on Kaolei.net, I eat breakfast at an airport. Oh, hello. You made it to the very end of the video. And that's what you get for sticking to the very end. Sticking with me to the very end. A hidden clip. <laughs> okay. Look, I know some of you are gonna say, oh, you went to Goldilocks and you didn't even eat the cake. Well, guess what? Critics. Look what I got. A box. Oh, there's some frosting. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, so, so far, so good. A freaking half of a cake. A roll. A roll. I'm at the airport. I'm heading back to Saigon right now. And I had to buy a roll because, yeah but they didn't give me a fork, so I'm just gonna eat this for breakfast. This is one of their famous roll cakes. You got chocolate, you got caramel, you got all sorts of different flavors. You got matcha here, mocha, mocha, yeah, mocha. And it's a half roll, the regular roll is like this long. All right, so I'm just gonna bite into it and see what it tastes like. Dang, man. I really wish, I really wish that I could eat this with a fork, but I'm too lazy to walk all the way over there for a fork, so I'm just going to go. Mmm, mm, the frosting is good. Let's try to eat this. I'm going to stick my finger there. It's, my finger is really dirty, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, dude, that's good. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm hungry. Maybe. But damn, that's good cake, dude. Oh, damn. Mmm. Dude, that's why Goli Locks is the most famous bakery here in the Philippines. This is really that good. Mmm. At first, I thought, man, I can't finish this. But you know what? I think I can finish it. It's really that good. It's fluffy. The inside is perfectly cooked. It's spongy. Perfectly. The frosting, not sweet. Perfectly sweet. Not too sweet. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, that's good. Oh, it's a little bit hollow inside. It's a roll. It's a roll. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, now if I had a little bit like of milk, it would be great too. Unfortunately, all I have is awesome Powerade. Brought to you by the Coca-Cola company. If Coca-Cola is watching this, or any executives, or any anybody who works at Coca-Cola, even like a janitor, please don't hesitate to contact me in the description below, especially on Facebook. Write me. I would love to go around the world for Coca-Cola and Powerade, because Powerade is a mountainous blast. Great combination, by the way, guys. Oh, oh, and uh, I forgot to mention Goldilocks also has a bunch of um, a bunch of um, other bad goods too. Uh, like uh, chocolate cake and uh, what was the other thing? Uh, caramel heart shaped thing and uh, something else. A bunch of other things. Okay, thank you so much for watching. So, if this has taught you anything, 
a few things we've learned here, right? First, ask for a fork. Two, stay and watch to the very end of my videos because you never know what you can expect at the very end. And three, go out there and travel yourself. It's 5 a.m. and I'm sitting at the airport eating cake. I'm gonna go back to work in a few hours, but this is a life. The exhausting morning ritual life. They don't judge me. I was judging me. Anyways. Where do I put this? I can't even like... I have so much stuff 